Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting, the Windows 11 23H2 feature update is going to be rolling out shortly uh, for Windows 11. And uh, the feature update is just around the corner. And he's going to be bringing a whole lot of new features uh, to Windows 11, um, as I have been posting. And I'll leave a video I did post on the 23H2 feature update, more or less what to expect with new features. I'll leave that in the description. Now, in regards to version 23H2, I have noticed over the weekend on Saturday that if we had to update history and we just navigate to other updates, you will see now that the Windows configuration update was installed on Saturday the 16th in my region. And this Windows configuration update is eventually going to bring those new features to Windows 11 as part of the 23H2 feature update. Now, um, you'll only see this configuration update if you have this toggle turned on. Get the latest updates as soon as they're available because the two are interlinked. Um, you'll only see configuration update, as mentioned, if that is toggled on. Now, if we just head back to update history and we head over to the learn more page. At this stage, though, um, this configuration update is doing nothing. Um, it doesn't include any new features as yet. But it's a good indication that obviously Microsoft is starting to ready Windows 11 22H2 uh, for the feature update, which is going to be rolling out shortly. And if we click on Learn More, this takes us over to Microsoft's support page. And um, the highlights are still um, on this page are still referring to the features that rolled out with our Moment 3 update earlier this year. So although the configuration update uh, is available, as mentioned, it's doing nothing as yet, but is a good indication that uh, the update is soon to be released. Now, um, if you do not turn this toggle on, uh, you will not get early access to the 23H2 feature updates as soon as they're available, obviously. You'll just get them with a normal monthly cumulative update like Patch Tuesday, as an example. And um, as I did posts uh, last week, Microsoft is finalizing our next optional bug fix update uh, for Windows 11 in the release preview channel, KB5030310, and I'll leave that video down below. And uh, um, it, it's very possible that if you have this toggle on and the fact now that Microsoft has rolled out uh, this configuration update, uh, it is possible that if we head to the calendar once again, that with that update next week, you could start getting access to the version 23H2 feature update um, because we've already started to get the configuration update and that's what's going to bring the eventual new features into Windows 11. So there's a good chance next week that KB5030310 will include some of those new features if you have that uh, get the latest updates as soon as they're available toggle turned on. And um, if you don't, and if Microsoft doesn't decide to push out the update next week, because that hasn't been officially confirmed, uh, it will arrive possibly, I would suggest, sometime in October, moving into November. But I just wanted to put it out there and just let you know that that configuration update now has started rolling out to some devices. I have seen um, a comment or two on the channel. So a good indication now that 23H2, our next uh, f feature update for Windows 11, is just around the corner. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.